every human being on this planet has what I believe to be untapped potential. And I say this simply from experience. After years of teaching, after having thousands of students, semester after semester, people from all walks of life, you start to realize how much potential lives inside people. We all have untapped potential. And the problem is there are only so many hours in a day. So we're only able to work on some of those things. In this video, I'm going to give you the steps that you can follow to unlock your strongest natural potential, whatever that is. Whatever it is that you want to do, I'm going to give you the steps that you can follow to do it in this video, to untap that potential. There's a catch though, and we'll talk about that at the end, and that's really important. So the first step is maybe the hardest, and it's one that many people actually never do. And so make sure that after watching this video, you at least get through step one. Because once you get through step one, the rest is just about execution and planning. But the first step to really just unlock you know, whatever's inside you, right? Maybe you're really good at math. Maybe, maybe you're really good at physics. Maybe you're a good writer. Maybe you're a good public speaker. Maybe you're athletic and you don't even know it. The first step is to realize what you really want. Ask yourself, what is it you want out of life? Where do you see yourself in five, 10 years? Where do you want to be in 10 years? I think 10 years is, is a good amount of time because a lot can happen in 10 years. You can, get a, you can get a college degree and a job and get another job and get married and have kids. I mean, all kinds of things can happen in 10 years, right? So I think 10 years, you can make a very, very big life-changing goal. You can say, okay, in 10 years, I wanna be an engineer making X amount of money, living in location X, Y, Z, working at one of these companies or something related. That, that's a reasonable goal. Or in 10 years, you know, I want to be able to learn this so I can get this job. Whatever your goal is, whatever you're trying to do, make a goal. Okay, make that goal. And don't let fear hold you back from making lofty goals. You need a lofty goal. Okay, you need a lofty goal. You do. Because you need something to push you. So once you have your goal, then you just got to start thinking about the steps. Like, what do you need to do to, to accomplish your goal? Right, what are you trying to accomplish? If you, let's just use getting a job as an engineer. I'm just gonna use that as a generic example because I've known a lot of people who were in my classes who became engineers and some became doctors. You can do anything, okay, you can do anything. But let's just use an engineer as an example. If you wanna become, let's just say, an electrical engineer, then you need a degree. So you have to go to college, you have to learn math, you have to learn physics. So step one, go to school, right? It's a requirement, right? It's a requirement. Now, you don't need to go to college for everything, but I found that it is better to have a degree than not have a degree because if you need to have a job, most of the time, most of the jobs that pay a little bit more require some type of education. So you go to school, you get a degree. That's the step. That's all you got to do. Now, that's, you know, that takes a lot of little steps where you have to like, go to the college, sign up, all of those things, but you will get there. The point is, you know what you want to do, Right? In this fake example, you want to become an engineer. You know those steps. And then step three is the execution. Here is where it really matters because it's all about execution. We can talk about ideas and steps all day long, but at the end of the day, it comes down to your ability to work hard, your ability to get in the trenches and just do it. You, know, you have to be able to work when you're not motivated to be able to become an engineer. You have to be able to get up early and grind every day sometimes. You're gonna have teachers where they explain things and you don't know what's going on, right? It's gonna suck, right? But you have to embrace that and grind. There is, there is some glory in it. There's, there's, it's rewarding, you know? When, when human beings work hard, they feel good. I believe that human beings are inherently meant to work. I know some people are like, oh, I just wanna lay around all day, I like being lazy. It's good to have lazy days, it's good, but I feel like human beings perform at their best. They're at their peak condition when they work hard on something. And so by picking a really hard goal, outlining those steps that you want, 
that you need to do, for example, going to college to become an engineer, and then just working relentlessly on that goal. If you have an insane work ethic, you will get it done. You will get it done. The key is, and here's the, here's the bonus I was telling you about at the beginning of the video. The key is your reasons, your goals need to be stronger than your excuses, okay? And that's, that's probably the biggest thing because okay, you have a goal, you have the, the plan for the goal. It's always fun to plan, right? It's easy to plan. Then you have to execute. That's the hard part. Doing is the hard part, right? Lots of people have great ideas, but how many people do those ideas, right? That's the key. It's the same thing with anything in life. Action is much, much more important than planning. Stop over planning and just do it, right? Just do it. But you gotta have that strong goal. That goal has to be stronger than your excuses because there's gonna be days where you get up in the morning and you're not gonna wanna do anything. You're gonna be tired. Maybe you stayed up late studying. Maybe you were playing video games. Who knows, right? But you still have to get up. You still have to go to class. You still have to take those notes from that professor you don't understand. I'm painting a dark picture here, okay? But it's not always dark, but I'm just saying it does get hard, right? It's not always gonna be easy. I, I remember one night I was in a discrete math class and I went out with my friend and I, I really don't go out that much, right? I don't go out. And we went to, we went to like this, um, like a bar and I, it was one of my few times that I've really gone out and done that. And I didn't get home till like three in the morning and the next day I had a class at 7.20 in the morning, right? And so I got up and I went to class. It was horrible, but I did it. And I never stayed out that late again. But the point is, you're gonna have situations where it's gonna be hard, right? It's gonna be hard, it's gonna happen to you. And you gotta be able to push through it and focus on your goals. And if your goal is strong enough, that's what's gonna pick you up and keep you going when things get hard. Because they're gonna get hard. So find your goal, make a plan, and execute. And just make sure that your goal is bigger than any excuse you have. You know, make, make it a big goal. That's why I said pick a lofty goal. It's good to have unrealistic goals, right? It's, it's good. And there's many reasons for them. I can make an entire video on that, and, but it's good. It's gonna keep you motivated. And if it's unrealistic, chances are you're not gonna reach it right away. So it's gonna keep you working. And what did I say earlier about working? Human beings are meant to work. You want to work. That's why mathematics, I think, is, is so good for you, right? Because it gets you to work. What do you think about this? Do you think you have untapped potential? If you don't, if you don't, then you need to realize that you do, okay? Believe in yourself. Believe. But yeah, what do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Do you think people have untapped potential? Do you think you have untapped potential? I think the biggest hurdle of people with untapped potential, again, is time, right? And, and, and by the way, some people are good at things they don't like. That, that can happen too, but most of the time, people like what they're good at. So if there's something you really like, then it, maybe it's something you should pursue, and that should be up there on your goals. When you, when you turn this video off and, and you're thinking of your goals, try to think about things you really like, okay? Like, I like pizza, but... You know, you can't do pizza for a living, I guess, unless you own a pizza restaurant or something, right? But then you really gotta like pizza and that, that's a lot of work. So the point is, try to find things that you like, things that you enjoy, and, and don't be afraid to dream and don't be afraid to, to think big when it comes to what you wanna do with your life, right? Don't be afraid to say, hey, you know, I, I wanna go to medical school and be a doctor and then I wanna become a plastic surgeon and go live in, in a fancy house in California because I wanna do plastic surgery. If that's your dream, then do it. And I just pick this at random. I don't know anyone who's ever become a plastic surgeon, and I don't know anyone who has that dream because it's kind of strange, but they do make a lot of money. So if it's something you want to do, it's something you can do, right? If you want to be a lawyer and do patent law or something, do that, right? If you just want to be a nurse and you know, do a lot of hands-on care, do that. You know? If you want to be a mathematician, then just become one, right? You can do anything. Oh, before I forget, I have courses, they're math courses. Check the links in the description. They're on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses, but if you get them, please use my links. I have courses on all levels of math. It's mostly basic stuff. I've got some algebra, some trig, some calc one, calc two, calc three, differential equations, a little advanced calculus, some abstract algebra, and a bunch of other math courses. 
Use my links in the description or from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. I've lowered the prices, so if you use my links, you get a good price. Plus, it helps me greatly. But you can change your life. I think you can do it. Just believe in yourself. Realize that everyone has untapped potential. I can sit here and tell stories about people I have seen rise from the ashes. People you would think that there's no way they're ever going to make it through this algebra class because they can barely solve a basic equation and somehow they, they do it. They get so much better and they end up doing better than the top students sometimes. So you can do it. You can do anything. Good luck to you. As always, keep doing mathematics.